Hi everyone, Katarina here. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I would like to wish everyone a very happy new year. I hope everyone is well and happy and healthy. Uh, just very quickly, where have I been? Why I haven't been posting? Um, around the start of December, I got sick. It lasted like a weekend. It wasn't all that bad. Well, it was bad. That weekend was crazy. But after that, I recovered quite quickly, I'd say, but the exhaustion was just insane. I've never felt like this in my life. I'm normally an early riser and a late going to bed, but the whole of December, I just couldn't get up. <laughs> the last minute it was for work or over the weekends to lie on, I just couldn't, I, I literally couldn't record, I couldn't find the energy to do basic things, literally. It was just insane. So I really am sorry and I really am sad that I had to give a miss to Christmas crafts and sharing them because it definitely is my favorite season to craft for and I was looking forward to all different projects. Now I did craft but I didn't get to record them, obviously cards and presents that I've been making. But uh, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to make any Christmas stuff. I have not put my Christmas stuff away, quite the opposite, I organized them ish <laughs> and I also picked up a few Christmas bits as well. So I'm just going to share what now, uh, what did I get? So first of all, I went to the range and I, now I was very sad to see that I could not get any dies and stamps or anything like that. I think the range is going to stop doing those. I don't know, but I did get a few paper parts. One of them is this Brave, Free and Wild as the Sea and I absolutely love this and I have a few projects in mind that I want to use like sea beach themed papers for and this is just going to be absolutely perfect. I love the cutter parts as well. I think this is gorgeous. Now I picked up one of these. Oh, I have probably two or three more here in my stash that I'm well through now, but when I saw that they still had them, I grabbed one this year too. I absolutely love this one. I mean, lipsticks and basics, it's really Valentine's kind of theme, but I use them all different uh, occasions and reasons. So, like, this is not necessarily Valentine, you know, so I definitely am going to be using this. I picked up this pink one now, there's a few pages already missing because I've been crafting with these. Uh, it's projects that I'm going to share with you all. So yeah, this is the pink paper block and I absolutely love this one. Now, a couple more paper parts that are here that are the Christmassy ones. One of them is Art Studio, the Candy King Christmas. I think this is just so much fun. I really love it. Some of these pages are foiled, some of them are plain, but this is really, really good. This is not cardstock, heavyweight cardstock, this is paper. I don't know, does it say the weight? I don't think it does. It feels like about like, I don't know, 120, 140, something like that. I think this is such a fun, fun paper pad. I definitely am going to uh, use this and I look forward to using this. Uh, the other one is the I'll be known for Christmas. Now, this is red and white, reds and the whites, yeah, and all the numbers for an advent calendar, perhaps. But I absolutely love this. This really looks fun too. I ha I've never had either of these, uh, so I really look forward to see what I can come up with for this one as well. Oh, all the lovely little sentiments. So December to remember. Oh, I love that. Special delivery from the North Pole. Nice and naughty. I think this is quite a fun paper pad. I love it. I look forward to using this as well. Now I got this paper block um, which this was the page that caught my eye in it. It's vellum and all different sentiments, just how fun it is. Some of them are black and some of them are foiled gold. I absolutely love this, I think it's stunning. Now, uh, these here are die cuts. You can pop these all out. And I, I really would love to make like a recipe book or something, you know. 
like um, yeah would be lovely so we'll see whatever there's loads and loads in here so there's definitely enough for a lot of projects and then there's a few papers or cardstocks um, but there's only one of each so I definitely might be photocopying this for a project so yeah this will be very very much fun to use I also got a packet of this rose gold mirror card <laughs> if you've seen my crafts you know that I love mirror cards anything shiny or glittery I go for it <laughs> and I picked up for my Gemini die cutting machine one of these magnetic sheets because mine or shims even because mine is a bit <laughs> done at this point uh, I also got these small paper pads I think these are six and a half by four and a half would be perfect mats for a five by seven card but for other stuff as well oh, look at that how gorgeous is this here there's all some of these are foiled I love the color theme on this one all the same design foiled and not foiled and I also picked this up in the range I think this was a point uh, for this one here I have a large 12 by 12 version here in my stash um, I think it's exactly the same papers I didn't check but I do recognize some of these so yeah I look forward to using these it would be nice maybe making a matching bag with the larger cardstock and a card with these ones we'll see what I come up with also picked up a couple of these packets of berries white ones I have a lot of red berries in my stash but none of the white ones and some ribbons this is really fun pink with the rose gold I love that color combination it's lovely the snowman family and the gnomes <laughs> they are lovely I love gnomes <laughs> Okay, so also got these two smaller ribbons. This is a gnomes and the pink snowflake ribbon. So I also uh, picked up one of these glue tape pens. Now I don't normally use these, but every now and again, especially when I'm making lots of cards at the same time, uh, like I did over Christmas, uh, and especially when I'm using mirrored cards and all, that uh, liquid glue wouldn't be just the best option to use. I definitely like to have one in my stash just in case now the next thing that I got was from craft stash and I got the creative craft products the nasty squares and I absolutely love this there's 24 in this and <laughs> some of them are taped together because I used them on a project and I don't want to forget which ones they were but they give you really small frames and the smallest one is really tiny while the largest one is I think 8 by 8 inches let's see yeah, yeah just under 8 inches 7 3 quarters inches of the largest one so this is really good I love this I wanted to pick one of these larger ones up for a while now when I seen they had it an offer I think I got it like for $9.99 or something like that I was really happy to go with it I also ordered uh, from craft stash Chloe's creative cards the summer this is yeah the summer flower trio stamp and die set i absolutely love this i have chloe's poinsettia set like this here and that's what i use for my cards over christmas and i absolutely loved it so i knew that i was going to pick up a different set and this one is just gorgeous i really look forward to using this i have been buying before christmas uh quite a bit from chloe's um, website and I absolutely love the stuff that she has <laughs> the glitters are just next level I absolutely love them and another order from craft stash uh, which I ordered before Christmas but I'm still going to share it with you one of them is the inverted scallops uh, squares I absolutely love this these are just so much fun to use they're very different I've never seen inverted scallops being used before and I, I just love these. Now I have not used these square ones yet, 
but what I did use was the circle ones. I used these circle ones to make most of my uh, Christmas cards this year, last year. <laughs> it's crazy to say it was last year. Uh, time's flying, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, these are really, really, really much fun to use and I can't wait to show you the cards that I made for Christmas. I'm going to make uh, versions, non-Christmassy versions of those same cards using some of the products that I will be sharing with you when I make the cards. And I also picked up the scalloped ones. They would match this here. So you can create real fun patterns and fun edges and all that by mixing them up. So yeah, I really so yeah, I really am happy with this. I got all of these on offer. I think this was for the Black Friday offer perhaps. I can't really remember. But yeah, these are absolutely fun products. So, I think that's all. I did pick up a few bits and pieces of eBay and all of uh, just like glues and tapes and stuff that we need. Always in our craft rooms. But that's it. <laughs> Not a very big haul, but I really am happy with what I got. So, um, I will be back very soon with a tutorial. I will be focusing mainly but not only on Valentine's projects for now. So, I will be back soon with a tutorial and until then, bye!